the hell has skydiving got to do with photography? Well, everything and nothing. Nothing because I wasn't taking photos when I was doing it. I was too busy being in the moment. That's what it's got to do with photography. Photography for me, and probably a lot of other people as well, set aside the technical aspects of it, the exposure, the composition, the mood, the atmosphere, set that aside. That's for another video. This video here that you're currently watching is about two things. Those things are moments and the next thing is filters. I didn't record this time down beside the river, although I've got the, the microphone on now. Just remember the last time I tried to record near the waterfall and the sound was terrible. So I moved away from there. I've just a couple of B-roll shots and that just to show you the locations. Water's moving quite fast as it is, but it's not in spate or anything. And the images that I got are okay. I'll see them once I get them in the big screen but they looked okay. As I said, a couple of filters, one being my Lee Little Stopper and the other one being an ND grad, 0.9 ND grad from 84.5 millimeterfilters.com. And I'll put the link to that down below so that you can go and have a look at them. And at the end of the video, I'll also let you know my thoughts on them. Not that that goes for anything, but just whether I can use them when I'm out shooting. Uh, not a great authority in anything at all, really. <laughs> so, if it suits my workflow, I'll use it. If it doesn't, I won't. And I'll be honest with you. I've got a dog sitting here very, very patiently waiting to go walk. And we've been out for a couple of hours now, and she's just in the moment. So the video makes sense. It's just absolutely gorgeous being out here just now. I'm going to take a couple more shots and then I'm going to go and get some drone shots as well. And then the rest of the video will be the editing. I'll put a time code up if you just want to hear me reviewing the filters. And enjoy the rest of the video. The filters I was asked by 84.5millimeterfilters.com to review a couple of filters either do it via a blog or do it on the YouTube channel. So I chose to do it in the YouTube channel. That way you can see them actually working and at the end of the video I'll put them side by side. I've taken shots with them, without, so on and so forth, so that you can see the difference anyway. The other part of the video is about moments and it's about appreciating these and how they add up and how they act as a therapy. For me anyway, they act as a therapy. When I'm out shooting, I forget everything. Nothing else comes to mind, and I'm in that moment. And I absolutely love it. It doesn't mean I'm stepping away from being an adult. Well, maybe. But what it does for me is it just removes me from any stresses, anything that's bothering me, and I'm just there, just in that moment. And it's because of these moments that travel, do photography, take pictures, enjoy everything that I can, these moments make up everything. And we don't get enough of them. Or in my opinion, we don't get enough of them. Always worries any hassles, everything, everything just disappears and it's these moments that I crave and I'm sure as other landscape photographers, there are photographers, the more we get these moments the healthier we feel mentally and physically, well in this case physically because we're outside but it's that feeling, being in that moment 
that makes up everything for me. That is my therapy. And it's one that I really, really crave. It's my addiction. So in the same term, what has that got to do with skydiving? That moment. That moment when I jumped out of the plane, I forgot everything. I was there just in that moment. They're easy to say, and I could keep repeating moment, 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 moment. It's not going to make a difference. What I mean by that is just being lost, just being there at that time. No past, no future, no worries, nothing. Just absorbing everything that's going on round about you. Taking the photograph, extending that moment in post, which you do, just enjoying it. Just really, really enjoying it. That's what the video is about. This is my therapy. This is it. I need to be outside. I need to be enjoying this. And even if it's bucketing down, I still enjoy it. Maybe get wet, that's just because I've got the wrong clothes. But it is, we need to be outside. We spend too much time inside watching telly, on the computer, whatever. I'm guilty of that as well, I love editing. But this makes up, this is my balance. And I think that's what most people enjoy as well. Landscape photographers. Everybody. It's just a lovely thing to do, a lovely thing to get outside and just see. There's a hashtag on Instagram that says photography is life. And I actually believe that that's true. It helps you travel to different places. I don't mean you have to be a photographer to go and do this. I just mean that it means a lot to me. It really does. I used to draw, I used to illustrate, uh, I ruined the chances that I had doing that, but that's because it held me for so long and didn't interest me as much. I'd always shot though, I'd always taken photographs, and that always drew me back and drew me back and drew me back. And I'm very, very fortunate from the point of view that it's a very self-indulgent video, this one, but I'm very aware and very grateful for the fact that I actually teach photography as well. So the hashtag photography is life works for me. Uh, today, went out to shoot some images for this review, but I don't know if you can see behind me or in the car or anything, that the sky is blue, it's gorgeous. It's early April and it's absolutely gorgeous. The temperature just now is 13 degrees and it's lovely, spring is here. These moments just make it. And that's that. 
that's 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 it for me. I couldn't be any more heartfelt than that. They just make everything. I love being outside. I love taking the photographs. I love being able to get lost in it. Hopefully, in some way you can relate to that. The only person I'm in competition with is myself. Trying to get the, my next best picture. But in the same hand, I'm enjoying every moment that I'm out taking photographs. I could go out myself, we go out together. It's great. I just absolutely love it. And I'll be honest, I wouldn't change it for the world. Did you like the Forrest Gump nod there? Life is like a box of chocolates, but at least in these moments, you know what you're going to get. I hope the video's actually connected in some way with you. Because it's all this that makes up us. And this is just fantastic. The filter review. I received two filters from 84.5 filters. And I received a ND8.9 grad and an ND8.9 full. And I thought I'd take them down to Nest Glen just to test them against. It was a very bright blue sky day, so I thought I'd test them with the contrast and the detail against branches. And for me, they performed well. They fit into the Lee system, which is a big bonus. You don't have to buy a completely new system if you're already currently using the Lee system because the, the filters are 100mm. So they fit in quite nice. Shooting with them, I got the results that I was after. I could have went and just shot against clouds. Because there wasn't any clouds that day, I thought this would be just a good kind of test for them. The filters wiped clean very easy and didn't leave any residue and are made of, it says here, a military material. So they're flexible, so hard plastic, flexible, but they're firm and scratch resistant. The images that I'm putting up on the screen, you'll see there is just basic edits with the filter and without the filter, uh, so that you can see any colour cast that are there. Yes, there was blue colour cast, but nothing that couldn't be handled in post. They actually do a mineral glass line as well, and I'm actually going to purchase the polarising filter because it fits in my Lee system and it's at a very fair price. It's the same as the rest of these filters, they're at a very fair price. Would I recommend you try them out? Yeah, definitely would. Because of the price and because of the quality of them. Do they fit into my workflow? Yes. And will I use them again? Yes, I definitely will. <laughs>